Yo, what's going on, guys? Oh, uh, man. Just got some mail in. In the shop, of course. It's that time of year. It's cold. Um, it's actually like 500 degrees out today. Uh, it's been like four or five degrees the last uh, week or so. But it's like 33 degrees, 34 degrees, so it feels really warm. I got two mail calls in. One I've been waiting for for a while, and one I just ordered uh, last week. Um, start with the baits. Just a small little bait box that came in. Bust it open here. I have not seen either of them yet. This one is from Biospawn. So I ordered some of the three and a half inch um, Sungill. I ordered two packs of these because I needed them. I needed more of them, uh, especially for when we go up north, smallmouth fishing, all that kind of stuff. Um, I custom painted some uh, Omega heads <clears throat> that matched this, and we sold every single one to one guy who wanted to go smallmouth fishing. Um, but the sad thing is, I will not be painting any more X heads for Omega through their website. We're working on another direction. I might be getting the heads in from them bare and then just custom painting the heads for whatever color you want through me so you'd have to go through me to get them um i'm still deciding if i want to do that because then you can order whatever color you want you want pinks you want chartreuses you want greens blacks whatever you want um yeah uh, we're just gonna stop painting the custom ones to match the exo swims which is cool because i've been super busy um doing reels custom paints all that kind of stuff and shows so the other bait i got in something i'll be using in the summertime not right now though because it's so freaking cold i got in the 10 inch exo ribbons i got in a green pumpkin pack i got in a black blue flake and then i got in a uh uh june bug color haven't seen them yet. I had prototypes um, early last year in like March, April. Prototypes changed, thank God, because they were really, really thin. I mean, they're like 10 inch, you know, like that thin and that didn't cut it. I'm like, man, you're going to stick a big hook in that. So through the uh, pro staff and all that stuff, we kind of told them, hey, man, you need, need a much thicker plastic. Um, and it looks like they did it. So... That's the 10 inch. They look awesome. Um, I'm probably gonna throw the green pumpkins a ton. Let's see if I can bust one open. Kind of nice. They come in like the clamshell so they won't lose the tail. Yeah, it's definitely gonna that's definitely gonna work. So it's much thicker than the uh, the previous ones that I had. Um, not terribly soft, but uh, nice little stretchy to it. It should be awesome flipping these, dragging them on the bottom. Um, I might actually even throw them on the uh, the, uh, the rapture, the bladed jig. See how that works. Oh, I got it in backwards. But that is the biospawn order that I got. I can't wait to throw these guys. I always throw some big 10 inch worms in the summertime. Um, I mean, it's just the, the bait to use. I'm hoping <clears throat> I can get like a straight black, and that's kind of why I went with the black blue flake because it's pure black. The black on the website is just not, it's it's not a solid black for me. It's more of like a, uh, I don't know, black pearl or uh, kind of like ghost black color. Next up, this one is from Canada via Japan. It is a reel I've kind of been eyeing for a while. I mean, it's been out for a um, I'd say maybe a year, so it's not like crazy. Um, it's gonna be my ultra finesse trout bass panfish bait casting reel. Um, it looks cool on the, on the uh, online. So I had a guy selling a pretty much mint brand new one. And I got steel for it, so I just got it in. like you packed it well should be an awesome reel I know <laughs> I know it doesn't hold a lot of line 
Um, and I think that was his biggest complaint. I think it holds like 45 yards of four pound line. So yeah, it's pretty uh, ultra light shallow spool. But this is the real. It is a Daiwa Alphys Airstream Custom 7.2 left-handed, 165 grams, um, six pound 40 meters, eight pound 30 meters. This is the first time I'm opening it up, so it's pretty sweet. Comes in a Daiwa bag. Huh, that's pretty cool. I don't know what to use the bag for. I mean, it's better than using, like, you know, Crown Royal bags, I guess. Left-handed, of course. Damn. And here's the reel. Gee, that thing's sweet. Man, that green is, uh absolutely beautiful it's blue it's like a it's a dark hunter green kind of changes to another color and then it's kind of a dark gray or silver secondary color with the uh, cork knobs carbon handle zion drag star and then if you can see the spool it is ridiculously shallow i mean this thing probably holds absolutely no line, but that's all right. I'm probably going to drop like four pound or five pound like Tatsu or something like that on there. So it's super thin. Um, from what I hear, it throws ultra, ultra light baits. Pretty awesome. I'm going to pair it up with my 701C that I've got. Um, I might actually take it out tomorrow and play around with it just because it's going to be almost 40 degrees and I can actually get out. Um, but man, this thing is freaking cool as hell. Let's see if I can pop it open. Man, it's got a tiny, tiny bearing. 384 maybe. Here is the spool. You can see it. It's super ported. It says Elphus Airstream Custom on the uh, the rotor. It is a fixed rotor, which is nice for a constant braking with light line and light baits. Uh, but everything else looks pretty good. Yeah, this reel's in mint shape. I might have to bust it open and put some uh, new bearings in it just, just because. It'll be the new, new finesse reel for trout. I mean, good lord. I'm thinking I can throw a sixteenth of an ounce or lower. Um, I know the new Steez Air that's coming out. Guys are throwing like a 1.5 grams or less, maybe a gram bait, which is like a freaking trout, trout magnet, um, which is crazy. You know, it's not a reel that's like practical for everybody. But I think it's going to be a fun reel to play around with. Um, I'm also probably going to take it up smallmouth fishing and throw my Ned Rig or a drop shot on it just because. Um, it should be fun as hell to do that. So, But that is my mail call. I'm going to go clean up this little guy. Uh, put some grease and stuff in it. It's a little dirty, but it's not terrible. Got the reel. And some bios. Pretty fun little... Uh, mail call unboxing hopefully um hopefully to get out tomorrow maybe for a little bit so uh smash that thumbs up guys thumbs up gets more views gets more coverage uh the whole youtube thing is going crazy right now so smash that thumbs up guys i will talk to you guys later and peace